very much for that. It's a very exciting finish, isn't mm. it? Should we get on to the weather and calm it down a little bit? Well, for the week, is it, Alexis? Yes, we're going to see a little bit of a mixed picture this week, but as we head towards the weekend, it settles down. Gillian Richards captured this scene looking towards Swanage today. Alan Robinson took this picture uh, from the South Downs in Edmonton, West Sussex. And Maureen Coles photographed this sunny scene in Cheriton. Now, through the course of today, we've seen a good deal of sunshine. One or two isolated showers did pop up during the course of the afternoon. And we had fairly breezy conditions, as you can see from this picture, taken on the Isle of Wight by one of our weather watchers. Now, through the course of this week, we'll see some rain or showers at times, particularly Wednesday and Thursday and the first half of Friday. But there will be some sunshine as well and high pressure builds in for the weekend. So overnight tonight, we're looking at a few clear spells initially. And then the cloud will start to increase from the northwest. But the brisk winds we have today will gradually ease during the early hours of the morning and temperatures will just dip into single figures lows of eight or nine celsius now through the day tomorrow the winds will increase in strength after a fairly bright start we're expecting increasing cloud from the north and west the best of the sunshine along the south coast of the isle of Wight, and the chance for northernmost areas of the region we could have some outbreaks of rain many places will stay dry we're looking at the rain more likely to fall north of the m4 with temperatures tomorrow up to their seasonal average of 20 to 21 degrees. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are westerly or southwesterly, five or six. The visibility is good, occasionally poor later, and that's from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis from midday tomorrow until midday on Wednesday. And the sea state is slight or moderate. So tomorrow night, we're going to see a lot of cloud. There will be a brisk breeze and we'll see outbreaks of rain with weather fronts moving in from the Atlantic. And that really sets the theme through Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures tomorrow night very high, dipping to around 13 to 14 Celsius. So quite a humid night to come. And these are the weather fronts I'm talking about, trailing out towards the Atlantic, moving in slowly during the course of Wednesday and staying with us through Thursday. So we'll see outbreaks of rain, a good deal of cloud through Wednesday daytime and even into Thursday, quite Quite a lot of hill fog in places and low clouds, so some misty and murky conditions during the course of Thursday daytime with further outbreaks of rain. So it was a blustery day to today. Tomorrow the winds will be fairly strong. As we head through the day after a bright start, the chance of rain for northernmost areas. Outbreaks of rain expected Wednesday and Thursday, but later on Friday high pressure builds and temperatures start to rise for the weekend. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. July at Goodwood normally means the popular Festival of Speed, but the event is cancelled this year, of course. So the West Sussex Circuit is swapping sports cars for family saloons for a socially distanced drive-in cinema. Mike Apps went along to see a 1970s blockbuster, and alongside him was a very special guest.